Hey, kind of people. Thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. Getting right up there, getting close to 260 beer reviews. Um, so, I've been chilling this wonderful beer outside for quite some time. I've also been drinking nothing but Fuller's beers on the camera for the past, I don't know, I don't know maybe five reviews. So, uh, yeah. Second last one here. Going to finish it off uh, with the Big Bang. You'll see what it is uh, shortly. Today, I'll be drinking the Fuller's Old Winter Ale with you. Uh, it's a 500 milliliter bottle at 5.3% ABV. And uh, yeah, Fuller's is from UK. And it's Fuller's is the uh, Griffin, Griffin Brewery Fuller's Chiswick is the full pronunciation for that one. I'm going to read a little tiny tidbit on the back here. A rich, warming winter ale brewed using only the finest quality mop, uh, malt and hops. The crystal malt in the brew give a sweet, nutty character to the beer uh, while the target, sorry, whilst the target challenger and north down hop varieties help balance the strong, satisfying dark ale. Delicious by itself, Old Winter Ale's robust flavor is perhaps best appreciated when complemented by rich, t tasty, uh, tasty dishes such as red meats, game, and strong cheeses. Perfect for a cold winter's evening. Find out more about our award-winning beers by logging on to www.fullers.co.uk. All right, so uh, we just got you know your typical uh, Griffin Brewery cap here. It's the best I can show you. Kind of like a little griffin on there, do a little griffin stands. And here's my freshly rinsed glass. Uh, Samuel Smith, you are the king of all kings. And uh, where did my lighter go? All right, well, I'm going to have to be using this one. All righty then. Here she blows. Smells uh, very much like an English ale. Very, very much. Let's uh, pour it and see how she sounds. All right, so it's already pouring uh, with the typical color of a UK beer. Perfect pour. Uh, I take that back. Got a little cocky, and now it's kind of dripping down the side just a little bit um, so what do we got here we got a two finger head we got medium bubbles actually quite a lot of medium to large bubbles here um, we got an off-white head and we got you know your typical brownish looking uh, kind of copper tone looking English ale I, I still smell profound uh, English ale hops in there I um, I you know at one point in time I wasn't really a big fan of the taste that's also specifically because you're kind of really supposed to drink uh, English ales at you know somewhat room temperature right so you know I'm storing this on my cold back balcony so I'm gonna be getting the cold experience of it all all right cheers people Yep, get that English ale taste right down your throat. I actually pick up on like a, a little hint of a, kind of like a barley-ish approach at the ending. You know what? I'm going to take that back. Uh, after reading the back, I know for a fact that that's actually kind of a nutty taste that I'm, I'm picking up. And yesterday, when I did a review uh, from the same company, I said how the barley mixed with the roastedness of, uh, of the beer actually made it kind of taste a little bit like barley so it's not you know hard for me to realize how I just made that mistake yeah it's a very solid beer would I buy it again you know what uh, it's not one of my favorites I'd buy it you know for shits basically part of my French but uh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't make this one of my go-to beers. I'm not, you know, one of those eager beavers that just 
darts for English ales every you know second that they can because because they like the taste. I, I'm not really sold on the English ale taste. Um, it's uh, something to do with the hops that they choose. I don't know. Maybe it's the Fuggles hops. I'm not sure. And I've already had this beer before, so I can tell you that the taste same uh, stays the same throughout the entire beer. So it definitely wins bonus points on being consistent. Um, it is a very refreshing beer. It's 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 thirst quenching. You could actually uh, drink it quite fast if you'd like. It it has a little bit of a waterish approach. Not how do I explain? I've been drinking a lot of thick beers lately, so when I say it's got a little bit of a waterish approach, uh, I'm not I'm not putting down you know the volume of carbonation as a great amount of carbonation. It's just you know that watery kind of thirst quenching uh, perspective basically is the best way that I could put it. Um, I'm not really able to pick up on any of the other flavors in here. It just really is like bam English hops. Um, you know, you'd think with a winter ale that there might be some kind of fancy spices in there of some sort, but I'm not picking up on anything else. You know, we got some really nice playful lace here. Uh, that's also another great sign of a well-made beer. And that's about it, people. That's it. Um, can't really say too much. I'm going to get straight to the rating. Um, it is definitely uh, not just your average beer in the sense that I've had a lot of English ales and this one definitely is uh, one of the better ones. So uh, kudos to that. Kudos to uh, all the things I was saying about it earlier. <laughs> I'm probably going to give it like a 3.3 out of 5. It's probably going to be my standing point there. So uh, that's it. So uh, right before I leave you, I'm going to leave you with a little bit of food for thought, okay? I used to be incredibly skinny, all right? I know, bonus feature, all right? I used to be incredibly skinny. So I just wanted to take, I put this shirt on specifically so that you would get an example of what, you know, what it's like for somebody who is, used to drink a lot when he was younger, you know, after the age of 19, of course, and, uh, you know, slowed down a lot later on in his life, and probably, I'm, I'm 29 now, and I, I definitely noticed that because of all the beer drinking that I that I did a lot earlier before my beer reviews. Now, I basically just do beer reviews. Um, so, here we go, alright? This is what I was like before. Alright. Now this is what I'm like now. So there you go, people. There you go. Some food for thought. All right. Thanks for joining me on the one of Chris's beer reviews. Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly. Cheers.